Hey there everyone, I'm Mixed Media Fusion artist John Creighton Peterson and today I'm here to show you from the Art New Wave Studios just how easy it is to work with Patina Effects Paste on your next project. So let's get started. For showing you this process today, I'm just going to be using a piece of scrap bookboard that I have laying around and I'm going to be using a palette knife. I like to use just some inexpensive brushes so I can use them kind of like as a stipple and of course need your heat tool and your patina paste. They come in three colors. There's the brown, which you can tell is my favorite, the red rust, and finally the yellow. So for this process today I'm just going to show you working from darker to lighter. So I'm going to begin with the brown rust paste and I'm just going to start dabbing this on here. And you can paint this on with a brush if you want, or you can use a palette knife. I like to use this kind of stipple technique because it builds up the technique. And the beauty of this, there's the three different colors of the rust effects paste. And you can start from lighter with the yellow and work darker. I personally prefer to start with the darker brown and then work my way lighter. That's just the effect that I like to use. And of course, if I forgot to mention, these are uh, made by Finnebear from Prima. So I have this pretty much covered all the way. And now I'm just going to heat this with my heat tool real quick. There is that all heat set. And the beauty of working with this is that you can also use this product on other surfaces like metal and non-porous surfaces, and it'll get the same effect. Now I'm going to show you real quick how to mix a custom color. So I'm just going to scoop out a little bit of the brown, and I'm just going to put this right here on my craft mat. So there's that. And I'm just going to wipe my palette knife real quick. Don't want to be double dipping. There's that, and now I'm just going to scoop out some of the red rust. And what this is going to do is this is going to make a color that's kind of in between the red and the brown. So it's going to be kind of a lighter brown color. So again, I'm just mixing this with my palette knife. And you can mix any of the different color combinations you want to. So you can mix the yellow with the brown, or you can mix the yellow with the red, whatever you like. So now you can see I have a little bit of a lighter color here. So again, I'm just going to go in here, pick up my brush, and I'm just going to randomly put this on here. Again, think of this as kind of like doing a highlight, so I don't want to cover up all the work I've already done. And the nice thing is, too, that while this is still wet, I can actually go in here and blend colors together. So for example, I can pick up some of the red rust, and I can blend these two more, so if I want to have an even lighter color. While I have this on here, I'm just going to continue adding on my red rust. And there's no right or wrong to this process, and I always like to tell people when they're doing this, don't think about it. This should be quick and easy putting this on here. So there is the red added on there after my custom color. Now I'm going to heat set this real quick with my heat gun again. Now you can see all that beautiful texture and luscious color put on here. For adding my yellow on, I'm just going to pick some up with my finger and I'm just going to lightly rub against the top of the highlights. I'm not a huge yellow fan to begin with, so that's the reason why I'm just highlighting just the top. And again, I'm just hitting just the little peaks of the texture in here. There we go. So you can see there's the yellow added on there. Now if I think I've got a little too much color, like for example, I've got kind of a blob of yellow here and one here, I can go back in with a little bit of the red, kind of blend that down a little bit. 
And at any time, if I think that I have too much color, like let's say, for example, I think this is too light down here, I can always go back in, for example, with just the brown by itself, and just lightly highlight there to tone it down. Or I can also use my custom color that I mixed also. So there is no rhyme or reason to doing this. It's just finding the color that you like. I hope you've enjoyed watching this quick video tutorial, and here's a few other project ideas that you can create using the Rust Effects Paste created by Finnabar and produced by Prima Marketing. For more projects and inspiration, be sure to visit artnewwave.com to see projects I've created, or you can always follow me on your favorite social media platform by searching for Art New Wave. Thanks for watching.